There slumber in every human being faculties by means of which he can acquire for himself a knowledge of higher worlds. Mystics, Gnostics, Theosophists, all speak of a world of soul and spirit, which for them is just as real as the world we see with our physical eyes and touch with our physical hands. Is there more to existence than what our eyes perceive and our hands can grasp? What lies beyond the veil of this physical world? From the dawn of human awakening, we have looked to the heavens and into the depths of our being, seeking answers to the great mysteries. In this exploration, we shall pull back the curtain and peer into realms unseen, those higher spheres of consciousness and spiritual reality that extend far beyond our current perception. Many awakened souls have testified through the ages that we are not mere creatures of flesh and bone, but beings of vast metaphysical depth and cosmic connection. The pioneering work of Rudolf Steiner, the Austrian philosopher and seer, mapped these territories of higher worlds with uncommon clarity and vision. Through developing his clairvoyant abilities, Steiner experienced firsthand the subtle planes that coexist with our dense material existence, planes pulsing with life, intelligence, and evolutionary purpose. In this video, we will follow in Steiner's footsteps to uncover the vistas of the higher worlds that harbor unbounded potential for human and cosmic evolution. We will learn how clairvoyance allows an enlightened few to witness these realms and events past and future, and ultimately, we will shed light on why understanding these spiritual dimensions is of paramount significance for our individual and collective awakening. Let us begin our journey, as countless mystics and seers have before us, by casting off the limits of the physical senses and opening our minds to a greater reality that permeates all life and existence. To truly comprehend the nature of the higher worlds, one must first understand the concept of clairvoyance, the ability to perceive beyond the boundaries of ordinary senses. Clairvoyance is the ability to have super-sensible perceptions, just as our ordinary faculties enable us to perceive the physical world around us. This higher sight is not mere imagination or delusion, but an expanded state of consciousness that reveals deeper layers of reality. So what exactly are these higher worlds or spiritual realms that clairvoyance unveils? In Steiner's view, human beings are systems that consist of one major and one minor set of subsystems. The major set includes the four bodies that make each person, the physical body, the etheric body, the astral body or soul, and the body of ego or spirit. The minor set involves the combination of the four temperaments embodied in a person, melancholic, phlegmatic, sanguine, and choleric. All of the various subsystems are profoundly interconnected, as we will discover further along in this video. Echoing Steiner, other mystics and seers like H.P. Blavatsky or Annie Besant have described similar visions of these inner realms. For instance, Emanuel Swedenborg wrote of the spiritual world he perceived, stating, God created us in such a way that our inner self is in the spiritual world, and our outer self is in the physical world. This was so that the spiritual part of us, which belongs in heaven, could be planted in the physical part the way a seed is planted in the ground whether called planes, spheres, or higher worlds. What unites these depictions is the idea of a vaster, unseen reality coexisting with our physical dimension, a reality that, when beheld through the eye of clairvoyance, can unveil profound truths about the nature of consciousness, the origins of our world, and our highest potential as evolving beings.
Among those who dared to explore the frontiers of consciousness and lift the veil on invisible realms, few figures loom as large as Rudolf Steiner. The Austrian philosopher and esoteric thinker dedicated his life to plumbing the depths of these higher worlds through conscious spiritual development. Steiner's ideas challenged conventional ways of understanding reality precisely because they were not merely theoretical constructs, but were rooted in his own direct, clairvoyant perceptions and experiences. While mystics and seers throughout the ages gave accounts of witnessing supernatural phenomena, Steiner took an unusually methodical and research-oriented approach. His teachings on the higher worlds emerged from decades of systematic training to cultivate his innate clairvoyant abilities. Through meditation practices he developed, Steiner stated he could actively elevate his consciousness and perceive the subtle planes of existence that coexist with the material world we know. This notion of traversing unseen spiritual dimensions stood in stark contrast to the prevailing materialistic worldview of his time that dismissed all reality beyond the physical. Steiner essentially upended the conventional understanding that human perception could only access the limited world of the five senses. Moreover, his revelations of intelligent progressive forces at work across the higher realms challenged the dogmas of traditional religions that depicted the afterlife as a static, eternal heaven or hell. Instead, he spoke of a vastly complex, evolving cosmos where both microcosm and macrocosm were engaged in a perpetual cycle of becoming and transcendence. By grounding his explorations in first-hand experience rather than ancient texts or scripture, Steiner offered a unique perspective that could realistically be verified by those willing to undertake serious esoteric training and spiritual development. His cosmology demanded a radical shift in how we view our place and purpose in the greater scheme of existence. Here again is something showing that it is of significance for the whole of cosmic existence, whether man today inclines to supersensible knowledge or not. The time when it is essential for him to do so has arrived. The very progress of humanity depends upon man acquiring supersensible knowledge. Every moment that we set ourselves to discover in our consciousness whatever there remains in it of adverse, disparaging and critical judgment of the world and of life, every such moment brings us nearer to higher knowledge. At the heart of Rudolf Steiner's explorations into the higher worlds was his development and use of clairvoyant abilities. Clairvoyance, as he described it, is the ability to perceive realms and beings that lie beyond the limits of ordinary senses. For Steiner, clairvoyance was not some innate psychic gift or paranormal power, but a natural capacity latent in all human beings. He asserted that under the right training and guidance, one could systematically unfold this hidden eye that opens perception to the spiritual dimensions underlying physical existence. He spoke of different levels of clairvoyance, ranging from imaginative knowledge that senses the being of things to inspired perception that witnesses creative forces in action, all the way to intuitive cognition that directly experiences the spiritual wellsprings of all phenomena. He chronicled his own gradual development of clairvoyant sight throughout his writing, describing how it enabled him to traverse the thresholds into the higher worlds at will. Steiner claimed he could hold discourse with spiritual beings, read the Akashic records of past events, and directly observe formative forces shaping both the seen and unseen realms. While such abilities may strain credulity for the modern rational mind, all truth must ultimately be grounded in personal experience rather than external dogma. As such, the clairvoyant faculties lying dormant in each of us 
allow us to personally verify our spiritual insights and teachings, as they did for the seers of the past. Moreover, Steiner developed systematic training paths and meditative practices outlined in works like How to Know Higher Worlds to guide others in unfolding their own clairvoyant potentials. For example, he advocated exercises like concentrating intently on a simple object like a seed. This exercise aims to strengthen one's powers of focused perception, which in turn allows the ability to gradually perceive the object's subtle spiritual archetypes. Cultivating conscious control over one's thoughts and emotions through meditation. Steiner believed that undisciplined feelings create illusions that obscure higher vision. Using symbolic imaginative practices like conducting reviews before sleep to raise consciousness. These aim to elevate the practitioner's awareness from ordinary to spiritual perception. Steiner emphasized that these were not mere visualization techniques, but methods to systematically develop moral qualities and control over one's inner life. Foundations for developing reliable clairvoyance. He warned against pursuing clairvoyant abilities for selfish curiosity or thrill-seeking, stating clairvoyance must be approached with mathematical sobriety for the quest for knowledge, see a service to humanity. He emphasized that this was not about acquiring psychic parlor tricks, but about undertaking rigorous ethical and spiritual disciplines to elevate one's consciousness. Whether one views clairvoyance as a literal faculty or interprets it as symbolic of higher intuitive perception, it was the fundamental basis through which Steiner claimed to directly experience and map the expansive landscapes of the higher worlds. His credibility thus rests on whether others could replicate similar supersensible insights through the means he provided. Through his clairvoyant explorations, Rudolf Steiner mapped out a vast cosmology of subtle dimensions coexisting with the material plane we inhabit. He asserted that the world we perceive through our senses is but the outermost, densest level of a hierarchical and interconnected universal reality. In his many lectures and the book Theosophy, Rudolf Steiner described the higher worlds not just as invisible dimensions, but as realms intimately linked to the evolution of human consciousness and spiritual development. According to Steiner, the physical world we know is actually permeated and supported by the finer etheric realm, a dimension of formative life forces. Our own life force and subtle energy bodies exist within this etheric plane. Just beyond lies the astral plane, a realm of souls, desires and emotions. Steiner taught that our astral bodies live in this world between lives, shedding experiences that eventually condense into the physical as karmic results. However, Steiner stated that our highest thinking, ideals and creative aspirations have their origins in the higher devachanic spiritual worlds. In the devachanic realm, the archetypes, prototypes and seed ideas for great works of art philosophy and invention first take shape in their purest essence. These higher realms are inhabited by evolved spiritual beings and guides who help channel the downflow of divine wisdom into manifestation. Under their influence, devachanic archetypes gradually descend through levels of increasing materiality to ultimately birth the marvels of culture and civilization we experience. Steiner thus viewed the higher worlds as the frameworks that give gradual expression to human and cosmic spiritual evolution over vast cycles of manifestation. Our purpose is to elevate our consciousness to directly contact and co-create with these higher planes of existence. His depictions of these metaphysical worlds offered a vastly expanded perspective on the true extent of reality. However, 
for the principal reason of keeping this video within a digestible length, we'll approach the vastness of this perception on a separate occasion. While Rudolf Steiner provided one of the most expansive and well-documented frameworks for understanding the higher spiritual realms, he was not alone among philosophers and esoteric thinkers of his era in exploring such metaphysical concepts. Some of Steiner's contemporaries described visions of inner worlds and planes of existence that shared commonalities with his teachings, though often with their own unique interpretations, colored by different philosophic and cultural influences. The theosophists, including influential figures like Helena Blavatsky, Annie Besant and C.W. Leadbeater mapped out a cosmology of interpenetrating physical, astral, mental and spiritual planes. While broadly aligned with Steiner's model, their depictions tended to focus more on the astral dimensions of subjective experience. Swedenborgian thought, based on the clairvoyant writings of Immanuel Swedenborg, spoke of the world of spirits an intermediary realm of the afterlife that souls pass through before higher transcendence. However, Swedenborg's visions offered less structural complexity than Steiner's cosmology. The more philosophically oriented teachings of figures like Rudolf Eucken and Friedrich Paulsen grappled with similar considerations around higher spiritual realities, but largely as abstract metaphysical concepts rather than clairvoyantly perceived worlds. On the other hand, some of Steiner's peers, like Jakob Lorber and Gottfried Meyerhofer, working more from a Christian mystical perspective, depicted highly symbolic inner realms and hierarchies of angelic beings that defied precise mapping. While all these esoteric philosophers and researchers were circumnavigating related metaphysical territories, what distinguished Steiner was his emphasis on methodical personal experience and verification rather than philosophical speculation or scriptural tradition alone. His intricate observations of the higher worlds, born from decades of trained clairvoyant perception and conscious spiritual practice, made his rendering unique in its scope, detail and potential for validation by others capable of cultivating such faculties. And if you by chance inquire about our modest opinion on the matter, this potential for validation by others is what makes it worth looking into. At their core, Rudolf Steiner's revelations about the higher worlds and spiritual dimensions are not merely abstractions or philosophical curiosities. Rather, they carry profound implications for how we understand the true nature of reality, consciousness and our human potential. If we hold Steiner's assertions as accurate, then we are not merely physical beings confined to the sensory material world. We are spiritual beings with vast unseen depths, faculties and connections to a greater metaphysical existence. His descriptions of the higher worlds as the upstreams of creative ideation and archetypal forces challenge our current materialistic worldview down to its core. On an individual level, recognizing our own multidimensional constitution across these realms redefines the human potential for growth and transformation. Rather than being limited biological machines, we contain the seeds to unfold our faculties and achieve higher consciousness. Once we take everything into account, we can safely conclude that every one of us is able to systematically develop clairvoyant abilities to directly experience and participate in the phenomena of the higher worlds. This unlocks new frontiers of perception, creativity, healing and understanding the deeper patterns that shape our reality. Ultimately, Steiner concluded that expanding our awareness into these spiritual dimensions was more than an intellectual exercise 
and carried deep ethical and moral implications. By consciously aligning our thoughts and deeds with higher cosmic principles, we could positively influence the evolution of both ourselves and the world around us. In this light, we can hardly imagine a purer and more noble purpose than investigating the higher worlds and striving to recognize our sacred place in the great cosmic unfolding. If you wish to join us on our mission to uncover and further build upon the lost occult knowledge of past epochs, consider subscribing to Vox Occulta and sharing your experience and knowledge with the rest of us in the comment section. Considering each of our experiences is unique and personal, only by working as a collective can we accomplish our mission and discover the true nature and purpose of mankind.